Hi, welcome to section two, titled Building Blocks 2, Adding Scales, Axes, and Labels. In the last section, we covered some basics of non-interactive charts, including bar charts and line charts. In this video, we'll be adding simple text labels to our visualization. We'll also cover choosing what data makes a good label and when labels should be used. Let's pull up the code from our previous scatterplot example. The simplest form of labeling involves taking values in your data set and appending them to, to your SVG as text elements. Let's start by binding data to our soon-to-be text elements. Note the similar order to appending elements to the SVG, making a selection, specifying the location of our data, entering the data, and appending it as an element. Also notice that we've chained onto the SVG variable that we previously used. This is so we'll have the location that each data point is plotted as a reference point from which we can adjust in choosing where to append our text. Now that we have some placeholder elements assigned to data, it's time to give our text attributes. We start by chaining to our previous text maker variable, giving elements the same X and Y values as the circles previously appended to our scatter plot. We then use the dot text method to specify where to find the values that we would like appended. Necessary attributes for our text element include font family, font size, and a fill color. Note that you can also format the text as a function of your actual data. An example could be taking the number of data points in a given data set and returning a text size based on how many points there are. When building an interactivity, it's important to note that the text elements will take up space that often overlaps the elements they're labeling. Best to include a z-index value for both the element and its label. Note that we've included a z-index value of 0.2 for our circles and 0.3 for our text, so that the appended labels will show above the element they're labeling. Also have noticed the fact that you can append text elements selectively to pull out particular numbers. This is what we do with our text attributes.txt method, where we check to see if our data.win percentage values are above 60 before seeing if we'll return each specific win percentage number. In the event that they are, they're returned as labels, which will be appended through our .txt method. Let's save our work and see what it looks like in the browser. Note how the last dot text method alteration leaves text elements only on the elements meeting our conditions that win percentage must be greater than 60%. Now that we understand how to add plain text elements to visualizations, we should move on to the next video on creating tooltips for our visualization. See you there.